Hello my stars and galaxies, welcome back to my channel, The Universe Tarot. Today we're doing a reading for Scorpio. Scorpio is all about you, it's all about the Scorpios today. Now before we get started, make sure you guys like, comment, share, 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 subscribe, 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 and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload for when I upload. And please note that the Tarot Instagram page is in the description box below along with my cash app so you know where to go and know where to deposit the money whenever you're ready for a private reading, okay? Now without further ado, let's get started. Okay. Hope y'all doing good. Hope y'all having a good afternoon. You know, hope y'all having a wonderful Sunday. Right? Hope everyone's doing just fine. Okay. And we're just gonna go ahead and shuffle these real good. And just draw all 15 cards. Ah, I dropped a card. Ugh, God. Mm, mm. We're gonna use it in the thing. We're gonna use it. You know, it fell on it. It fell on its back, so I didn't see what card it was. So, yeah, I think it's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and use it. Okay. What is going on? Whatever. Okay. All right, Scorpio. Now let's get started into your reading. Also, please note again if it does not resonate with you, it just wasn't meant specifically for you. Okay, remember that. So our first card says the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so I'm seeing Scorpio. You were not ready for something. Maybe you thought you were ready for something. Maybe you thought you were ready to maybe start a business, or maybe thought you maybe you thought that you were ready to you know get the guy or get the girl you were ready for you thought you were ready for something but you know reality slapped you in the face and it turns out you were not ready for something okay because it actually did not work out you were trying to get to it you were trying to make sure everything worked in your favor but everything was still like like pointing for you not to get whatever you wanted okay so it just means that maybe not now is not the time to get what you want okay seven of wands okay you know, I'm like, and, it's, and I'm seeing here that you were fighting to get something. And also, if I sound a little out of breath, it's because it's a little warm in my room. You know, I I don't know what's going on. I feel a little a little sweaty. All right, it's a little warm in my room. Okay, so you are finding yeah, you were fighting for something that you really really wanted. Again, maybe now, maybe at that time it was not the time to get it. Right, you because you were you maybe you were just not ready for it yet. Excuse me, I yawn. Okay, you were not ready for it yet. You were constantly fighting, and then you still couldn't get it. Okay, and it can be frustrating when you're fighting to get something and you still can't get it, and it's still just, just, just like right there, and you're trying to reach for it, and it just snatches out of your grasp. Okay, so right now it just wasn't a good time to get what you wanted to get. Okay, but nine of swords, and I see that. Um, you know, it caused you a lot of anxiety and depression, okay? Because you wanted to really get it, and you wanted it because it was going to make your, you felt like it was going to make your life better. You really wanted to get it. You really wanted it. You really wanted a bad pause. And, you know, you really just want, you, know, you really hope to get it and hope that it will make your life better or make you feel better for whatever you, maybe, maybe it would have helped, you thought it would have helped, helped you mentally or emotionally, okay? But see, it doesn't mean you're not going to get it at all. Okay, it just means that now that like at the time right now with all this stuff going on in your life Maybe now is not really the time to actually get what you've been fighting for The three of swords, okay, right? I'm seeing here that there was a third party Okay, so you were in a relationship with somebody and then there was somebody who kind of sabotaged that relationship Okay, because I'm seeing here that there was infidelity going on Okay, I'm seeing here that there was infidelity and it was someone who was trying to break you up intentionally. It's not even like, you know, they're around your partner and it kind of just happened. It was an intentional, you know, seduction, right? So it was, in, it was a really all intentional, okay? And your partner kind of just like fell into the loop. The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? All right? So Scorpio, all you can do is cut off loose ends, 
all right that's because that's better for that's better for you that's better for what you need to be doing okay that's but that's what's best for you cut loose ends cut off the people who are making your life difficult than how it already is okay the magician okay and scorpio you can do anything without anyone's help excuse me i yawn again but yeah, you can do anything without anyone's help, all right, Scorpio? That's how you are. You're persistent. You work hard. You know, you make sure your money's right, all right? You smile with your money. You do whatever you feel is best for you, okay? So, Scorpio, you should just do that, okay? Anything you want in life, okay, you can definitely work for. A page of wands in the reverse, okay? You know? And for a small amount of time, you were even scared at one point because this person was someone you trusted. This person was someone you thought would never hurt you. Like, you loved them and they loved you, right? But then all of a sudden, boom, infinitely. Excuse me. See, I, excuse me, like, I, I don't know what's going on. Like, every time, it's like almost every time, uh, lately, every time I do a reading, I, I'm yawning or about to sneeze or burping whatever like what is like i was fine before i started reading i was not making anything like that okay so the devil is strong okay so yeah you were scared because you felt like you was gonna be on your own you felt like you were gonna be left alone no one to help you or anything like that but like i said earlier scorpio you can do anything on your own okay but at the same time you felt like you know that everything was gonna fall on you now so if you f up all the pressure go on you Okay, the five of pentacles in the reverse. And at one point, you even thought about ending it because it was just real a lot mentally and emotionally. You know, it was a lot. It took a toll on you. It took a major, major toll. So you even thought about ending your life, okay, because you could not just take the stress anymore. The nine of wands. I don't know if you guys could tell if I thought yawn when I was pulling that card. <laughs> the nine of wands, okay. You know, because in the reason, many of the reason, one of the reasons why you thought about ending it is because you were very tired and burnt out, and you were still holding on, right? Okay, you felt like all this work was for nothing. Okay, everything that you've been trying to do, everything you've been trying to get, has gone up in the air. You know, you feel like like what's the point anymore? That's how you feel. You feel like what's the point anymore? You're you're working and you're trying and you're not getting the fruits of your labor. So that's kind of one of the main reasons why you thought about ending it. The six of wands, okay? But Scorpio, do not give up, okay? You know, there is no sex... There, <laughs> no. Um, go, wait, hold on. There is no success, okay? Not sex. There is no success without a little struggle, okay? Okay? Success cannot be gained without a little struggle, okay? I mean, okay, well, technically it can, but, you know, nine times out of ten, you have to struggle a little bit first before you can get that success, Okay? So you have to just, like, I know it can be, like, as time goes on, I know it can be very frustrating and very annoying and it makes you want to give up. You guys know I yawned again. You guys know. I don't have to tell you. You guys just know. Okay? But, yeah. See, I even lost my train of thought. But, anyway. I lost my train of thought. Oh, I was saying that, you know, I, don't understand, I understand it can be very frustrating and very annoying how you're working and you're doing this and you're doing this, that, and the third. And, you know, especially by yourself. It's not like you have, like, anyone to back you up. You're doing it by yourself. And then the fact that it just blows up in your face can get annoying. But, Scorpio, you are resilient, and I know you can do it. Okay? The Ace of Cups, all right? Because, Scorpio, look at this. I'm seeing here of the Ace of Cups that you're starting fresh, okay? You know, you're you're living fresh, okay? You're wiping off the bird and off your shoulders, okay? Because I'm seeing you got a fresh start and you found new love, okay? You found new love, all right? The, the depths of the relationship that you're in with your new love is up to you. I'm not, I'm not going to go into detail about it. It could be... You know, simple girlfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, a boyfriend, or boyfriend and girlfriend situation, or marry, or like getting like getting higher into the engagement. But like whatever your relationship is with that new love, yeah, that's all you. I'm just saying that you found new love. The King of Cups, okay. 
So, and then your new your new love is very mature, okay? They're very mature, they're very financially stable, okay? You know, anytime you're going through it, you know, they're emotionally there to comfort you, they're mentally there, physically, you know, all the above, okay? You know, they're there to help you with help, whatever with whatever you're going through, you understand? The four of cups. Okay, and you no longer feel stressed like how you used to with your other partner. Okay, with your other partner, you felt like you felt like strict, like really annoyed and stressed out. Like you felt like a burden. You know, there were even times where they ghosted you. Okay, there were times where they ghosted you, and made it seem like you know you were the problem. The two of swords. Okay, right, and there was a lot of conflict between the two of you there was a lot of conflict there was more it wasn't doing much good for anyone okay so it was a lot of conflict for the two of you and our last card says the queen of wands in the reverse okay and they were very cold to you so not only was there a lot of arguing and stuff like that but they were also very cold to you they didn't really show any respect you know really treated you like you were just like a second class citizen really treated you like you were a burden really treat you like you were a mosquito okay you don't need people in your life like that you need the opposite you need the positive people in your life to to grow with you and build you up okay all right so scorpio i hope this did resonate with you i hope this did you know bring any knowledge or whatever you needed to hear whatever you needed to know in your situation that you have gone through or are going through uh, you know i hope i i hope i helped in any way but if it did not resonate with you, I do apologize. Hopefully, the next Scorpio video will. But in the meantime, make sure you guys like, comment, share, 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 subscribe, 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 and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload for when I upload. This has been the Universe Tarot. Namaste.